Good day, Glowforge friends. I am back with another workflow with your Glowforge. Today was my first day cutting with wood that was not the proofread wood, so that means I had to test my own settings. So, hey, let's take a look and I'll show you what I came up with. The first technique I used was kind of silly. I went to a text decoration website and I just typed in the words master craftsman and then I fiddled around with their little settings to get this cool design. I used my own screen capture called DuckLink to grab a quick screenshot of it, made sure I shut off the border because I only want the words, and I hit save. I did the same thing for the name of the person I was building it for. Returned to the Glowforge and I chose to upload a new design where I simply grabbed the parts I wanted to use. I've got them stored in my screenshots folder, search by today's date, and let's grab the groovy little snap. There's the master craftsman. After a moment it appears, and you can see I've left the piece of wood that I already cut. So once you've got your part in place, you can see that is where I had that set, then you have to enter the settings. Now since I'm not using proof grade, I need to go to manual. And then I chose today to work at 400, and I chose, since I'm cutting some hardwood, uh, to use 30. The best thing I can tell you about these numbers is you need to go to the owner's forum and read through all the facts, support, tips, and tricks, and then move through the categories. I like the one beyond the manual. I like beyond the manual because that's where you get to push the limits and explore with non-proof grade materials. So you can see here my hardwood uh, cut really nifty. Uh, like I said, 430. I did the same thing for this one. This is the second type of project. So this was a whole different project and let me show you how I did it. First step was to go to your Google Drive. If you don't have one, you should get one. And when you hit new, go to more and find Google Drawings. Google Drawings has the ability to search for clip art. So I searched brain clip art. I found this little guy and without even naming it, I did file and I chose download as and I did an SVG. Picked where I wanted to put it. I stored it in my 3D modeling folder. You can see right here I named it brain so I'm going to hit cancel. And then I did the same thing but I inserted some nifty word art. You can put ever, whatever words you would like. I chose the word power because I'm doing one about our growth mindset. And then just like any other tool, you find the font that you want to play with. Uh, this time I'll play with Pacifico. And the same thing, you can stretch it out however you want. When you're happy though, just do file download as and make it an SVG. Save it to the same spot. I've already done that, so I'm just going to take you to the workflow and show you how to use it. I'm going to click on the old part, and I did these in two separate steps. So first I created this one, and then I created this one. When I chose add artwork, once again, I had to upload. Told you I stored it in the 3D modeling folder, so I'm gonna track that down. Do the same date modified today to help find it. And then I brought in each of these three pieces, the power of yet and brain. Once again, there's a pause as they load. And then this gets a little fancy. Uh, you can see here that it looks like two pieces instead of one. So we don't want these lines, so we click on this one and just choose ignore. So that piece does not count. This piece will count. I'm going to click manual. I'm going to set it to 400 again because that just seems to be the number that I like at the moment. I want my artwork. I'm going to just try 25. And you could pick between convert to dots or vector patterns. I stayed with convert to dots and I did two passes with this. I'm going to click back here and I'm going to move it to where it goes. You can see that I shrunk it quite a bit. And that's one of the nice things about using an SVG is uh, you don't lose as much quality when you shrink it. I'm going to use the hand to move so I've got it placed where I want. Go back to the pick tool and see if I can get him as close as he was to the original design. Now I'm going to bring in the power. Once again, add artwork, upload, date modified because it's fast. This time I'll bring in of yet. Got to wait for it. 
Same issue with of yet, except now there's three pieces. There's an outline, there's an inside, and there's the part that we definitely don't want. That gets an ignore. Uh, I chose to do my outline deeper, so I gave it two passes. I let it go at 500 because it was just a simple outline, and I chose 35. The power of yet manual, I wanted to do uh, 400. And then I did this one at 25 so that it was a little bit lighter in only one pass. Click back over here, zoom out so I can see it. And now I can shrink it and put it where it belongs. Let's bring it back up where it goes. Close enough, you get the idea. And then I had to do the same thing with the last piece. Let's bring it in, upload, date modified. I tried to bring in all three at once, but that does not work. Let's start by ignoring the big rectangle. Let's click on the power, pick your settings. Nothing earth shattering here. Same thing, 25. One pass for the inside, clicking on the outside manual. And this one I want to do, I'll save it at 500. This time I'll do 35. And once again, I'm going to do two passes so it cuts that a little deeper. Click to make it permanent bring it down in place, shrink it, and put it where it goes. So friends, there you see two different workflows with two different crazy programs. One, a silly website, which was pretty cool. Shouldn't call it silly when I utilized it. The second, a totally free application from Google. I'm going to delete all these parts so we can just take one last look at how they turned out. I'm really, really pleased with them. Uh, hopefully you find these techniques useful as well. If you do, please hit that like button. If you haven't hit subscribe, please hit subscribe. Click that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new movie from me, HL Mod Tech. And if you got a question, comment, or even just a cool suggestion or tip, please add it down below. Thanks for watching and happy cutting. Thank you.